I hope everybody had a lovely weekend. It's four o'clock, time to tune into yourself and turn up the outside chatter with a bit of yoga. Today we're going to do a tree vinyasa. Here today in Cambridge, Boston, it's very windy. And of course the trees are blowing this way and that and the pollen is scattering everywhere. Uh, for those of us who have seasonal allergy, that's uh, not the greatest day. So we're going to, to do just a bit of warm up. Um, and this focuses on the whole body. I'm going to start in the chair. Everybody can do this whole vinyasa in a chair, the entire vinyasa. But if you're standing, you can do this standing. I'm going to do the warm up for the people sitting in the chair. Ideally, you're on a hard seated chair and you're sitting towards the front of the chair, not, not in back and slumping. The back as straight as you can have it. Feet on the floor. If you're short, you need blocks or books underneath your feet. And so let's just begin by moving the arms up. Elbows straight, sit bones down. And then reverse the hand and come down. It's like bobbing in water. So turn the palms up, inhale up. Turn the palms down, exhale down. Turn the palms, inhale up. Turn the palms, exhale down. And again, turn the palms. Now, you want to squeeze the upper back and feel the effort. Inhale up in the upper body, also along the abdominal region. Turn the palms, come on down. So to sit upright and to complete this action, you have to use your abs, standing or sitting, okay? Now we're going to bring the arms up, grab the elbows, okay? So pull the elbows apart, squeeze the upper back, drop the sit bones, move the neck back. You should feel the abdominals engaging. So you're going to lift the elbows towards the ceiling as you pull apart and move the elbows back and drop the chin. and lift your head up, and now we're going to unfold. Okay, big inhale, that should make you feel very powerful in the upper chest, upper back. We're gonna come up again. Now this time, you're going to naturally fold your arms in the most comfortable way. So now just reverse, okay? So we're gonna hold our elbows best we can. If you can't hold your elbows, you can slide further down, but hold your elbows. Squeeze the upper back. Engage the abs by moving the navel back slightly. Drop the sit bones. Now we're gonna lift the point of the elbows up. As we pull the elbows apart, push the elbows back and drop the chin and breathe. So a lot of action in the upper deltoids, units engage, and then come on down. And now, like seated. Okay. And now. Right hand forward, palm up. Then you're gonna come with a little pincher, like the tree trimmer.
we have two trunks and he's the God that overcomes all obstacles. So we're just swinging. Now, bring your attention to your big toe. You see my big toe is turning. If you're in the chair, you're just gonna have to swing your elephant trunk side to side or the chair. Okay, and then bring your attention to your knee. Okay, the knee is moving slightly. And we're overcoming all obstacles today. Okay, we're becoming trees, first an elephant. And now what are your hips doing here? You know, just bring the attention up the leg from the feet to the knees, now to the hips. And now the back of your shoulders. Can you move the back of your shoulders? And now your hands, what's happening to your hands? Do they feel very free? And your elbows. Okay. And now we'll practice Tadasana. If you're in the chair and you can't stand up, you can still work your feet. So rock from heel to toe, heel to toe, heel to toe. And this is Tadasana Mountain Pose. So we're going to find a spot on the mound under our big toe and then cross to the back of the outside right heel, outside, we'll do both feet at once, it's, it'll be a challenge. So the mounds under both big toes, press them down, not the toes, right down, cross to the outside heel, press down a point there about as big as a penny or if you want it to be a dime, that's fine, okay. And press down that diagonal line from the mound under the big toe to the outside back of the heels. Okay, now find the spot about as big as a dime under the mound of the little toe, both feet, and then cross to a point on the inside heel, back heel. So we have two X's on the bottom of our and we're gonna drop the toes, you know, relax the toes. Just grab as much real estate on the sole of your foot as you can, okay? Lift the inner arch. Now we're gonna move the shins up out of the ankle towards the knee. And when that happens, the front of your quads engage and the whole musculature of your upper thighs caress the femur bone. We're gonna open the eyelid of our groin, move the navel slightly back, Move the sternum slightly back and imagine that your collarbones begin in the center and extend long out to the sides beyond the screen. Turn the palms out, lift the top of your head, chin slightly back and try to find what I call your Obi-Wan Kenobi sword that's inside your energetic center. Okay. Find your energetic center. Most likely it's in front of your spine, not your spine. Squeeze the upper back. Relax the jaw. Mountain pose. And you can do this in the chair with your feet on the floor, sitting on the edge of the chair. Okay, so now we'll begin the tree vinyasa. We'll do it three times. And it's a movement, combining movement and breath. Okay, so let's inhale. Exhale, lift the arms up. And then exhale. Bring the arms into the socket. Inhale, the tree is being blown to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, tree is blown to the left. Inhale, the branches of the tree are coming down, palm down. Inhale, palm up. Exhale, tree branches blowing to the right. Inhale, center, tree branches blowing to the left. Come back to the center. This is the exciting part. I'm turning, you don't have to. The big wind is coming. Inhale. Weave your fingers together and exhale. Head down. Knuckles up. 
relax the neck. We're going to take three breaths. You can bend your knees. You can straighten your knees. Relax your neck. Inhale. Exhale. Lift the knuckles. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the upper back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. The tree is coming up again after the storm. Exhaling, turning the palms down, lifting the heart, inhaling. And then exhale, come back to the center. We'll repeat. Inhale up. Exhale, shoulders into the socket. Inhale. Exhale, tree blows to the right. Inhale, exhale, tree blows to the left. Inhale, exhale, tree branches open, palms down. Inhale, palms up. Exhale, tree turns to the right. Inhale, tree turns to the left. Really stretch those branches out. Inhale, center. Comes the big wind. Wrap your fingers together. Inhale. Exhale. Come on down. Lift those knuckles up. Loosen the head. Inhale. Exhale. Straighten the elbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze the upper back. Inhale, exhale, tree coming up on a long exhale. Put the knuckles of the hand down, lift the heart, stretch the neck. Inhale, we'll go one more time. Inhale, tree is growing. Exhale, tree is strong, arms in shoulder sockets. Inhale, exhale, tree blowing to the right. Inhale. Exhale, tree blowing to the left. Inhale, exhale, branches spreading, palms down. Inhale, palms up. Squeeze the upper back as the tree turns to the right, extending right and left hand. Inhale, center. Exhale, tree turn to the left, really extending right and left hand. Inhale. Now the wind is coming. Grab the hands. Tree bends. We're going to stay here for three breaths. Loosen the neck. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Nice, long, slow exhale as you come up. Reverse the palm of the hand down, lift the heart, and come back to center. So that was our tree vinyasa. Tomorrow we will have another, oh, I don't know, perhaps a vinyasa tomorrow or something. We're going to be working with the shoulder girdle this week. So happy to have you here. See you next video.